Just before the video starts, boys, I quickly want to give a massive shout out to Joltstude139 for his help on this build. He has been absolutely instrumental and an amazing friend throughout this whole process. Big shout out to him and thank you so much, Joltz, again for your help on the build. If you guys want to go and check him out, link is in the description. Please go and show a homie some love. We love Joltz, baby. Let's get it. Enjoy the build. Hey what is going on you guys, it's Epic here and welcome back to another Clawbringer build, one more to send out the homie after the set of nerfs it received, very sad, but today I've got something pretty cracked to show you guys and I really hope you enjoy it. First and foremost, before we begin, you can find the save file for this build in my Discord in the link in the description, so if you want to download it, head into there, thank you guys so much for your support, I really appreciate it. And we're going to open up firstly with the skill tree, this isn't something I usually do, but I want to get it through now, this is a Clawbringer Berserker. Berserker build, mainly focusing on the Berserker after the ore nerf. It made the Clawbringer really, really hard to build and basically a tier 2 character. But nonetheless, here is the build on screen. If you want to copy this into your game, go ahead and do so. Some of the most notable skills in the tree is, of course, going to be Blast Chill. You really want to get Blast Chill. This is what the whole one-shotting potential of this build revolves around, so make sure you get Blast Chill. Now, into this build's gear. You're not going to like this one, but it's purples. So, first of all, in the build, we have got a purple Black Powder Jacobs Masher with the Melee Damage Pin Cushion mod. It is very important that you get increased melee damage for each bolt with this Masher and also we want the Masher because it's going to help us stack that damage as fast as we possibly can. The best source to farm this and any of the purples I'm going to show you is from the bunnies in the Chaos Chamber so just be aware of that. And now moving on to the next gun, this is going to be for the mobbing part of this build as I like to call the Clobberer almost a hybrid of my Chuck Explosion build and my Death Claw build. So if you can go ahead and get this pistol right here, I'm sure you all know what it is. It's a Furior Pixie pistol with Cryo on it. I really, really think Cryo is better for this build as it plays into some of these skills in our Berserker tree for the Icebreaker skill and Cold Snap. So if you can get a Cryo version of the Purple Pixie, go ahead and do so. It's going to help you out a lot. For our melee weapon, this is all personal choice, but for my melee weapon here, I've got the Goblin Pickaxe. Now, I have got Action Skill Active increase our lightning damage on the pickaxe because when we initially throw our hammer, this is going to apply to the initial throw and thus it's going to boost the impact melee damage because Storm Dragon's Judgment is lightning melee. So, we're boosting lightning damage here so that when we chuck that hammer out, it gains even more damage on impact. Now, I did forget to mention for my enchants on the pistols here for the masher 1000% you want to get action skill start melee damage this is obviously again going to boost our hammer throw damage so please try and get this on the pistol if you can and the pixie you can get what you want i have gun damage which i'm not even sure fully works with pixies but yeah the the enchant on on the pixies really isn't all that nutty you don't need to get anything specific the way i would say it would be pretty cool to get the melee anoint on there if you can now into the rings i've got two mood rings here with melee damage the passives aren't all that important though you should go for melee if you can roll it but make sure that the primary effect is a melee damage and it is a mood ring. If you want to get yourself a mood ring, you guessed it, it's a world drop baby, so have fun in the chaos chamber. Moving on to the shield here, I've got the body rune with action skill start damage dealt. This is once again very important because we want to buff the initial hammer throw as much as we can. Now the body rune you can get from the maker in the chaos chamber I do believe and I will say that it does not matter if you have this chaotic called volatile so please don't worry about that or Although I will say it would help. And while I will say that the Cursed Wit is a good damage increase, the survivability trade-off is just simply not worth it in my opinion, so bear that in mind. But if you want a Cursed Wit, go ahead and grab one. Now for my class mod, we're using the Warped Paradigm. This drops from Castor in Tangle Drift, and there's not too much that's important on the Paradigm, apart from the extra point into Blast Chill, if you can get it, again, not too important. But the main thing that is very, very, very important on this Paradigm, that is going to help this build deal a ton of damage, is to make sure you get the effect which makes your ability and spell damage more powerful as a result of your increased melee damage. Very important, do not skip out on this stat. The only other thing I should talk about here is the class power, which is entirely up to you. Now, if you get Berserker Power, you're going to buff the power of Blast Chill. However, if you get Clawbringer Power, you're going to buff the damage of your Hammer, which then the Blast Chill is most likely going to scale off of when it does proc. Anyway, so 
In my opinion, you should prioritize getting Clawbringer power here, but if you want Berserker power, go ahead as well. It's not the end of the world. And as well, while this class mod here is fairly, fairly perfect, trust me when I say you do not need it. This class mod here, you can just get whatever you want on it, is really not a big deal. For my amulet, I've got the Thurge, which drops from Grissom Whitmore. And I've got to say that the Thurge is the exact same situation when it comes to class power here. You can get Claw Ringer power or Berserk power. It really does not matter. It's all personal preference. Though I will say if you can get Frost Damage as your main feat there, try and grab hold of that. The reason why we want to have a Thurge is so that we can take advantage of its exploit with our Magic Barrage, which is just a world drop purple spell. But the reason why we've got the third on and the reason why it interacts with the Magic Barrage spell is because simply by putting our action skill on cooldown and then spamming our spell here, we can make our hammer come back extremely fast, meaning that should we mess up in any of our boss kills and we don't kill the boss, we simply just spam the Magic Barrage get that hammer back and throw it out again baby but if you're not one for exploits here i do have a buff meister in the build as backup this is a world drop of course and if you do want to go for a buff meister the only thing i'd recommend here is that you get kachow and bonk on the bottom of the card as these gives you buffs into melee and ability damage and then finally i have a duplicate third here with berserker power if the one i have equipped with claw ringer power isn't your style so that's literally it. That's the build. A lot less convoluted than some of the other builds that I have, but I do hope you guys enjoy it. Now, this is not as powerful as Deathclaw as a result of the latest Clawbringer nerfs, but it is still an extremely powerful Clawbringer build. In terms of the main combat loop, it just revolves around chucking your pixies out, throwing your hammer at enemies, pulling it back, using your magic barrage to get it back again, and then rinsing and repeating. It really is that simple, and it doesn't go much further than that this is an intense ready build it is ready for all levels of chaos if that's what you so desire and in terms of how bossing with this build works you want to use that masher to stack up as much extra melee damage on the boss as possible go up to them chuck the hammer down call it back and then simply rinse and repeat now sometimes you'll see your damage fluctuate here but it is very possible to do what i just did there and absolutely wreck bosses but with that being said you guys thank you so much for watching this build video i really hope you enjoyed it enjoy claw bringing it up and i will see you all in the next one take it easy everybody and have a nice day